All right, guys, today I'm going to be looking at a problem on this uh, HP printer, this uh, C7280 PhotoSmart all-in-one, but it probably would work for some of the earlier and later PhotoSmarts as well. And the problem is when you go to print something, and I'm going to simulate the problem here just by going into the setup, you'll end up getting this kind of uh, problem where it thinks that there's no white paper inside. So, for example, if I say I want to align the printer and it goes through the steps like it's going to align the printer. And it'll kind of churn here for just a second. Just be patient, you'll see what this error is. And I'm gonna show you how you can correct it without having to open it up. There's a sensor that tells uh, the paper type and it's looking for the white paper. And when that sensor gets out of calibration or gets faulty, you'll get this error. It just shoots the paper out and it says you need to insert plain white paper for calibration. So it's as if it does not see that there's white paper in there. You should normally only get this error if you don't have white paper. Another way to drive this error is if I just come up here and say I want to print a report on the self-test status of the printer itself, just self-test report. If I print this, it'll say like, hey, I'm going to print that out for you. It'll churn there for a little bit. Load a piece of paper. And then it'll just shoot it out and give you the same error. It'll say that, hey, I've, I've detected something other than plain paper here. Change the paper and press the, the OK button in order to do it. As if you had maybe blue or green or some other type of paper in here. So the sensor has gone awry on us. So we're going to cancel this out. And the problem there is something that uh, is built into the firmware that the technicians would use. There's actually a, a way to correct that. So over here on the keypad, if you hold the asterisk and the pound buttons down at the same time and then release them, it'll, it'll come up here with an internal uh, command for the service technician. And to do this calibration, we're going to do, uh, for the special key combo, we're going to do three, two, and nine. And if we come over here, we'll see service and it'll have a, a code here for you know particular type of service code we're doing. We're going to take the right arrow button and we're going to go over to system configuration and then we're going to press OK. Now where it says enter serial number, just ignore that. We're going to scroll through here again with the right button until we find the calibration entry. Media sense calibration. So we're going to go ahead and press OK here. We already have plenty of paper loaded in here. And we're going to see if we can get this fixed. So now it's going to go churn and do its thing. These other pieces of paper out of here. OK, now it has shot the paper through. Hopefully at this point, we, we will be, be OK and have this done. So now we're going to go cancel out of this. And now we're going to go back in. And we're going to try to, for example, print this self-test report. Take this other blank paper out of the way. Let's see if we can get this to print this time. Sounds like this time it is doing the printing. Haven't really printed this report out in a while, so I don't know exactly how long it takes. But uh, the fact that it is printing is an improvement over where we were at. Now, the reason I did this is because I started having very blurry printing of labels. So, so we got that report printed OK. And now we're going to make sure that the other test works OK now. If we go under Tools, and now if we try to align the printer, this time I'm expecting that the alignment will work properly. So we haven't gotten it to shoot the paper out yet. It's looking good. It's got to bear with this guy. He's a little slow. I do. It does sound like he's printing now for the first time since this problem set in. I'm hoping that by being able now to finally run this alignment, it'll get rid of the blurry printing. What I'm trying to print are barcodes. And so obviously any, any blurriness in that renders them useless. So it does sound like it's doing the alignment now. And again, I don't know how long this guy's going to take. But it looks like it's about to shoot out the paper with the alignment. 
So anyway, even though this hasn't actually spit out yet, I'm already convinced that it has corrected the problem. And I hope this uh, has helped you fix your problem. We'll go ahead and hang in here to make sure this actually prints out correctly as the final step. But this saved me having to open this unit up and, and try to clean or even replace that um, paper sense sensor or media sense sensor by doing this special internal calibration routine. And it definitely looks like it's doing the alignment now. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's churning and chugging away here. And it's inching the paper through as it does this aligning of the cartridges. Or aligning of the print heads, I should say. You can just kind of see it starting to come through with the uh, output it's doing. I can tell right now it's going to be a rather expensive and in ink type of test, or calibration rather, because I see a lot of very thick black ink bars on this paper as it comes out. There we go. And so you can see this, uh, this alignment is just a series of different colors and a series of different shapes. It'll tell you up here that the alignment was successful and that you can recycle or discard the page. Press OK to continue. At this point, we have fixed the problem. Again, I hope that helps you out. If you got questions or comments or even have another way of doing this, or maybe this didn't work out for you and you ended up having to do the actual repair and the disassembly, go ahead and share that below. I think we would all appreciate hearing that story. If you found this video useful, Go ahead and hit that like button and thank you for subscribing.